Hey guys, Joe here with Up and Outdoors. Say a lot of people have been asking about the uh, Wheeler setup for this year, and I figured I would do a quick little video on uh, what we got going on here this year. So we'll start up front here, and I got a double auger mount, and what they are is the uh, Copeland uh, yokes. And it's the double yoke, bought them on Amazon. Um, just did a quick little L bracket off the front. Last year I had them hanging off the front of the wheeler. This year I'm going to have them kind of tucked back in, a little more protected. Uh, running the Milwaukee 18 volt brushless with the uh, three inch auger here is the yellow one. That's for my camera auger. And then uh, this year I'm also going to be running the Strike Master Laser Light. Uh, that's the uh, six inch auger on that one. And they're on there. They're rock solid. You can't move them. Um, they're going to be uh, a real solid, uh, solid auger mount there. Underneath uh, this little wire mesh here, um, I found at uh, Fleet Farm, and all that's going to do is just kind of keep everything inside this crate. Whatever I have, uh, I threw a little shovel in there just in case we ever get any snow here in Minnesota. Uh, again, auger sits there. Nothing's banging. Nothing's rubbing. Uh, the drill is going to be nice and safe there. Got the windshield on just for those cold days. Up front here we have a basically just a piece of flat aluminum stock that I mounted in between the two brackets for the windshield. And then right there in the center is the mount for the uh, five inch Lowrance GPS unit that I run on the machine. It uh, clips right into there, holds all right in front of me, it's protected by the windshield and uh, runs directly off the battery of the, of the four wheeler. I um, also have it set up where I can run it to an auxiliary battery so it's always on um, when the four-wheeler gets shut off. Uh, this year we are going to run the uh, Otter Monster Box. I have it set up with a rod holder on one side. Um, did some uh, kind of modifications here with the rod box. Um, you might have seen already on a previous video. Um, what I did is screwed in a cable here on one side, goes up same thing up on here in the corner and all that does is give the, uh, the the rod box a basically a works as a table for me works really sweet um, then I threw some elastic or excuse me some uh, velcro in there um, just to kind of hold the rods in place when I put them here flip it back up top um, lock it all into place and uh, works pretty sweet So that's the uh, Otter Rod Box, it's on there, slides on, slides off real easy, just like so. I'm going to put a couple hooks on there just so if, it, uh, if I do hit a big bump it doesn't bounce off of any sort. In the back is the uh, Otter Box itself. Don't have much in here right now, just got a Vexlar FL28 Ultra Pack sitting there. Uh, small little duffel bag in that back corner, it's got some uh, safety gear in there. Uh, my ice picks, a first aid kit couple miscellaneous tools if I ever need them so that's sitting in there lots of room this thing has got about 10 a little over 10 cubic feet of room in it um, I have no problem filling it up of course and I'll probably be bringing out more gear than I absolutely need but uh, if you got the room you might as well have it so Polaris has the real nice plug-in or uh, lock and play um, system that screws into the holes on the on the brackets down here that uh, this thing is on there rock solid it's got the bucket mount for my fish bucket. Also works as my seat for when I'm out there. That's the uh, that's the four wheeler for this year, the 2019-2020 tournament season. Any questions? Feel free to comment below. Otherwise, subscribe to the page and thanks a lot.